Hi Scorpio, welcome to your spirit guide messages for the month of December. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So these are messages you may need to hear right now from spirit, from your spirit guides. So we're going to see what we get here. We have three different oracles. They are listed below in the description box if you are interested um, in them. And uh, welcome everybody and I hope everybody's doing well. So this is considered for whenever you see this tell whenever i do consider all my readings timeless on my channel even though they're dated so if you like to um browse my channel and see what there is then feel free to do that okay so let's see what we have for scorpio for this time let's see what spirit wants you to know what does spirit want scorpio to know we're going to get three cards from each oracle deck and then i will clarify each oracle deck uh each oracle card with a tarot card after so we have the earth magic oracle we have work your light we have spirit messages and that is the before tarot so let's see what we have for scorpio what does spirit want you to know at this time for scorpio spirit please what do they need to know at this time from spirit, I'm thinking those two. And we'll get three of these. So I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome in. Can you believe we're in December already? Can you believe it? I just cannot believe it. Happy early Christmas. I'll be doing, I think, an element uh, bonus reading um, for what's coming in 2020. So depending on what sign you are, uh, what element you are um something i may be doing some bonus i do uh bonus readings um at the end of every series for all the signs i go through all the signs in one uh reading and i time stamp and i'm also thinking of doing um elemental bonus readings also uh per month so something different every month and i think this month since we're going into 2020 i'm going to do uh what's coming in 2020 so if you're interested in that, uh, if you subscribe and hit the bell, you won't miss out. I do uh, four different readings a month, plus all the bonus readings. So there's a lot on my channel, every, a lot of different kind of readings. So like I said, you could check it out, like what you see. You could subscribe. So we have Fairies, Earth Magic. So somebody else got this card too, getting a lot of repeating cards uh, in the readings here. So we have Forest, Breathe. And I may re read a little bit from the book uh, for each one here. And we have Spring Equinox. This is also a repeating card in my previous readings, Rebirth. So, and you see the uh, forest there. So all that tree and greenery and the rebirth and spring and spring, everything flourishes and blooms and regenerates um, like it's earth magic. Everything grows back in the springtime. So... And uh, Earth Magic Fairies, uh, that's about, you know, connecting to Earth, connecting to Source, um, you know, getting out and maybe planting a garden or just spending more time out in uh, nature and that sort of energy. And it may be, you know, maybe you need to go for trail hikes or something like that. Um, and if you've been thinking about planting a garden or something here with your yard or doing yard work or doing landscaping, something here uh it's telling you you should probably you know if you want always want to have a flower bed a flower garden um a plant a tree you know it's telling you you should probably do that it's time to regenerate rebirth um and this also could be maybe something in springtime coming in for you uh it's going to be like a whole transitional period for you transformational period a lot of re regrowth and uh transformation and you may be able to just, you know, maybe coming into a time when starting in spring where everything's just all of a sudden going to be calm and peaceful. Everything's just like growing and going in the right direction. And you can just finally like breathe a sigh of relief. So just get out there, breathe in nature is kind of what I'm getting with that. Okay, so let's see. I was going to read from the book, but I just kind of spirit said, no, just go. <laughs> just go with it so 
So we have here align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? So I feel like you may be feeling fragmented right now. Maybe you feel like, you know, everything is just not coming together right now. Uh, things aren't going, or, like I said before, going or growing the way you want them to. But I think things are going to turn around for you. Uh, something here with the springtime. You'll be able to just breathe. It's going to be like a magical time. You'll just be able to like breathe a sigh of relief. And then we have break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. So this is breaking the chain, the patterns of your ancestors, of your lineage, of your family heritage, uh, whatever it is for you. Um, kind of like karmic patterns almost. Um, and just rewriting your own future, like going, or maybe you come from a line, you know, in a family where everybody did this, everybody did that, you know, like, oh, we're all lawyers, we're all doctors, and you have to go in that same direction, and you're like, nope, I'm breaking the chain here, I'm aligning my life, I'm breaking, you see the shatter here, so breaking the chain, breaking the chain, and finally, maybe you're just going to say, say it, you know, coming up in the springtime. Maybe for some of you who are young, you know, just going to college, like, nope, this is what I want to do. And like break, breaking the pattern of um, the, like the family history for some of you. Wow. And then we have answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? Exactly. So I feel like some of you are aligning your life, breaking the chain, doing what you want to do, answering the call, doing what your soul is calling you to do. And I finally feel like this spring... It's going to be like a whole transitional rebirthing period for you where you could just breathe a sigh of relief. It's going to be like a magical time. And you're just going to follow your soul's purpose and be able to go and grow and glow in the direction that you want to, I feel. Wow, okay. So let's see what we have here. We have receive. You are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others. But now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is the natural law and order of the universe. So you may be giving too much to others and not yourself. So, um, and also others may want to give to you. You know, you may spend a lot of time giving to everybody else, but not receiving. So, or maybe you feel uncomfortable receiving from other people, whether it's love, affection, you know, words of endearment or encouragement. Maybe you get embarrassed. It's uncomfortable for you. But Spirit wants you to know that just to receive it. Just take it all in. And it will be like a rebirth for you. And then we have believe. The force that works through your soul deter determining what's possible or impossible. The difference between success over failure and above all who you are is the power of your beliefs. So this is really believing in who you are. Trust in your soul. Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? Believing in your soul mission and your soul purpose. And I am I almost get the feeling here of you like reaching out to others and telling you telling them, you know, okay, this is who I am, what I want to do, um, and hoping they'll receive that well. And I think they will. And then we have ground yourself. Being distracted, unfocused, tired, irritated, and impatient are all signs that you're ungrounded. Now is the time to become centered and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and reconnect with the divine source. So again, with the trees and the forest over here and the rebirth and earth and magic, you know, it's all about getting out in nature, uh, spending some peace, quiet time. Um, if it's alone or if it's with friends, just in a peaceful atmosphere, um, you know, go, go to a waterfall, go to a stream, a lake, a river, just out in the woods, really spend some quiet time, peaceful time connecting with, uh, source here. Wow. So, okay. Let's see. Let's, uh, clarify all these messages for you, Scorpio. So take what resonates, uh, throw away the rest, I guess is what I always say. Not every single message here will be for every single person. So you take it how it resonates for you. If you get a little bit of a different message through these cards than what I get here, that's totally fine. Um, because I can't read 
you know, thousands of people, every single message for every single person. So if you feel like um, the message is a little bit different than for you, then please take it as you um, receive it. <laughs> okay, so Scorpio. I do ask, though, if you do uh, like my style and you like how I read, to please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. And... Uh, if you hit the bell, like I said, you won't miss out on any readings. I do four readings a month, plus all the bonus readings, so don't miss out on that. Thank you to everybody who supported the channel, whether you've subscribed, reach out for personal reading. Also, check the description box below. Tons of information there. If you'd like a personal reading, um, social media, decks I'm using, tons of stuff down there. You can check that out. All right, let's get a couple more here for you, Scorpio. All right, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So King of Pentacles energy. So again, being grounded, being stable, secure, being abundant, prosperous, um, you know, standing in your energy, you know, making your money, you know, just being well-balanced, practical, uh, stable, secure kind of energy. So it's a good energy to be in. So let's see, Earth Magic. So we have the Two of Wands, and you see he's holding the globe in his hand. <laughs> so, you know, this is looking out to the future, making plans, decisions, you know, uh, for the future. So I think by going out and grounding yourself and spending time out and quiet time for yourself, getting away from distractions, getting away from social media, all that stuff, you know, other people just getting out there and really finding, you know, peace, harmony, and grounding energy, you know, connecting to nature, source, and really thinking about your plans for the future here, which direction you want to go in, you know, what you plan to do, how are you going to accomplish that, what decisions and plans do you need to make moving forward. Something uh, maybe here you're very passionate about, and I do feel like whatever, like your family or once before you, you know, you're expected to do this, expected to do that. I think you're looking here, looking out and looking at different, different venture here. So we have the forest, breathe, and we have, again, the seven of cups is like a confused, daydreamy options, you know, decisions needing to be made. And I just feel like you may be feeling overwhelmed, uh, very confused. And again, you just need to like calm your mind, calm Calm down and just kind of breathe again. Get out in nature and connect with source and just take it all in and, you know, connect with yourself and get, you know, away from this confused kind of uh, overwhelmed energy. And we have equinox rebirth. So we have uh, the moon here. So, the you know, the moon can talk about secrets, illusions, not seeing clearly but being very, sometimes uh, deep emotions or being very intuitive, needing to listen to your intuition. So you may not see the path clearly, um, like this equinox, spring equinox, rebirth, regenerating, transformational period. I mean, maybe coming up, you may be going through that and you, you don't see clearly like how is this all gonna unfold? How is this gonna turn out? How is this gonna come out in the end? You know what's gonna happen here? You don't know that. You don't know all the facts here with the moon energy. You can't see clearly in the moonlight. So, you know, you may not see long distance clearly what the outcome may be, but the spring equinox rebirth is telling you because of all this growth and expansion in the spring that things will be fine. You just need to trust that energy. All right. So let's see. Align. <laughs> what? What is not aligned or needs to change? So align your life. And I feel like by, you know, following your true life purpose and not what everybody else wants you to do, here's a brand new stable beginning, being divinely guided. So being handed to you. So this is like you reaching out to others saying, this is what I want to do with my pentacle, not what you want me to do with my pentacle. This is my stability, my security. This is my foundation. This is what I want. And this is your brand new beginning based on that uh, stable energy, abundant, prosperous kind of energy. Oh, okay. 
So we have break the chain, queen of swords. So again, sword energy is about truth, clarity, speaking up for yourself, telling it like it is, cutting away things not serving. So this is you breaking the chain, uh, rewriting the future for yourself, telling the, telling the truth with clarity exactly who you are, what you want, what your life purpose is, what your soul mission is, and how you know, you're breaking, breaking the pattern that others may have carved out for you that you're like, no, th this is my pattern and this is how I want my future to go. And speaking with that truth and clarity there with the sword energy. All right, so let's see here. So we have answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? So we have Scorpio energy. This is your energy, Scorpio, with death here. So I feel like, yeah, this is ending, like, ending and rebirth. As we have rebirth with the spring equinox, transformation. So again, I think you, you're ending these patterns here of what people want you to do with the death card. And you're answering the call to your own soul and transforming and doing what you want to do with your life. For a lot of you. It's kind of like all one big message here. So, all right. So what do we have here? Receive. So we have judgment. You are kind and loving. So, this, you know, it's about you. if you give a lot or you're uncomfortable with receiving, um, like, affection or... Uh, words of endearment or uh, I mean anything here from other people you know this is judgment this is about you know it can be resurrection it can be forgiveness it can be making a final decision um, somebody may want your forgiveness or you know maybe you feel uncomfortable giving forgiveness but whatever here whoever is in in need of receiving forgiveness whether it's you or somebody else the judgment call here is about making that judgment call to forgive people, to resurrect relationships, um, and making that final judgment call. So maybe a need here to make that judgment call and somebody needs to receive forgiveness, whether it's you or somebody around you. So I feel like that may be a separate message here. So now we have believe and we have the six of wands. So believe that six of wands is success and victory, getting the accolades. So believe you can be successful in following your own life mission and your own life purpose, not what everybody else wants you to do. We do have receiving success and victory here and accomplishment. So success and victory there and being in this king, king or queen pentacle energy. Very stable, secure energy. So now we have the nine of cups. So ground yourself. So, you know, again, tuning out distractions, um, centering yourself, you know, connecting with the source, you know, aligning with your soul mission, your soul purpose will bring you wish fulfillment here. Total happiness and joy, freedom and peace and harmony, growth and expansion. Wow. So, yeah, happiness and joy, wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups energy. And that's your energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So wish fulfillment here so if you know some scorpios have been thinking about breaking the chain patterns of what you have been doing or what others want you to do and wanting just to go out on your own journey i think spirit wants you to really follow your gut your intuition do what you want to do not what everybody else wants you to do and you have very stable energy here this brand new beginning there uh just standing in your truth and your power and moving forward and transforming yourself. Wow. Wow, Scorpio. Wow. So very uh, powerful messages here, I feel. So I hope that resonated for you. And good luck to you. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.